Hi, my name is Emily. I'm going to be performing the skill video for you, Dress and Change Using Sterile Technique. I am in my appropriate school attire. My badge is visible. I have no jewelry, no acrylic nails, no polish. My supplies for this video is a clean pair of gloves, a um, sterile dress and change tray, my wound here with the bandage already put on top, and my biohazard waste bag here on the right. And here's my hand sanitizer. All right, to get started, I will go gather my supplies, and I will proceed with the patient. I will knock on my patient's door, enter my patient's room, close the door behind me to ensure patient privacy, and then set my supplies down on a clean, dry, flat surface. All right, I will then hand hygiene and introduce myself to the patient. Hi, my name is Emily. Can I please have your name and date of birth? As I verify with their wristband. Okay. Well, as I said, my name is Emily. I'm here to do a sterile dress and change on your wound. What I'm going to do is remove your old bandage, take a look at your wound, um, and then I'm going to clean it, put a transparent dressing on top. Two things to remember throughout this procedure is please do not touch your wound and do not touch any uh, sterile supplies that I have out. We just want to ensure sterility throughout this process. Uh, do you, excuse me, do you have any questions for me? All right, well, we're going to get started. I'm once again um, looking at hand hygiene, but before I do, I want to remove my badge. This is just to make sure that I don't lean over and it doesn't touch anything in my tray here. Hand hygiene. Whoop. Hand hygiene. All right. I'm going to apply my clean gloves. And remove my bandage here. This bandage has been used numerous times, so the stick is pretty much gone. But when removing a bandage, um, I want to remove with the hair growth if possible. I want to move towards the center of the wound. And then when pulling up, I want to make sure I pull up parallel with the wound. I'm going to hold the skin tight as I pull up the wound here. Pull up the bandage, sorry. Okay, so I got it towards the center, then I will pull up parallel with the wound like that. Fold my bandage, put it in my biohazard waste bag here. Alright, now I'm going to inspect the wound. When looking at the wound, I want to check for any uh, color change, what tissue type is present. There may be a sign of infection or granulation tissue. I also want to assess for any odor. And then I want to palpate around the edge of the wound here. That's checking for any edema, any discharge, and if the patient is experiencing any pain. All right, I'm done with the assessment portion. I'm going to remove my gloves. I have a brace bag. Then I'm going to move on to the sterile portion. Again, apply hand hygiene. All right, open up my dress and change box. Two fingers, sterile gloves, come over here, okay. two fingers, away. Okay. Come over here to my wound. For the cleaning portion of this video, um, this is going to be my dirty hand that I'm going to touch the wound. This is going to be my clean sterile hand that I'm going to get my new products with. All right, I'm going to first grab, uh, grab the chloroprep, drop it in my hand here. Um, this has already been used and cracked, but when cleaning the wound, I will start on the inside and work my way out. Okay, I will do one pass around on the inside. After that pass, typically I would throw this away and get a new one. Due to only having one, I will use the same one. I will come here on the outside of the wound and do a clean pass. Dispose of this. All right, get one gauze. Drop in my hand. Pat dry, starting at the inside. Okay. 
Okay, dispose. Get my other gauze. Pat dry on the outside. And dispose of that. Alright. Next, I will assess my wound again. Now that I have cleaned it, I can visualize it more. Same process as earlier. I will inspect it for uh, tissue uh, type, color, any odor, and then I will again palpate. Okay, now we can move on to dry, uh, applying the Tegaderm, the transparent dressing. Now I can use two hands, remove the backing, drop in by a hazard waste bag. This has also lost uh, quite a bit of its stick. Okay. I will apply over the wound, starting in the center and gently rolling out, and pat dry to ensure it's stuck on properly. Okay. In the real world, this white border here will be removed. Due to possible re remediation, I want to leave that on there. Okay. I will then gather my supplies. Dispose of them in the biohazard waste bin. Remove my gloves. Trash. Okay. I will then um, get my Sharpie out and um, write uh, my initials, the date, and the time on the wound. But for this uh, video purposes, I'm not going to do that. But in the real world, I would. Um, so I'm done with the wound portion of it. I am then going to hand hygiene. Reapply my badge. All right, I also want to ensure that my patient um, is in a comfortable position, that they're um, not needing anything. I want to give them their call light. And then I will uh, make sure that I opened up their door if they want it. And then I'll exit the room and go document my results.